WeSpotKennyDrinks.com WeSpotKennyDrinks.com Any girl, any guy, any bar WeSpotKennyDrinks.com To avoid getting your drinks back, don't accept a drink from anyone you don't know and never leave your drink unattended. Are you curious about spike drinks? Are you worried about a friend? Have you yourself been a victim of this? If so, call the Spikes helpline on 0800 793 2980. Hi, are you bored, depressed and looking for some fun? Yeah. Well, try alcohol. Alcohol? Alcohol makes you feel invincible when you're most vulnerable. You can even buy alcohol from your nearest corner shop, convenience store, supermarket or get me to go in for you. Alcohol comes in many strengths and in many flavours. Even cherry? Even cherry. Try this cherry sambuca. <coughs> oh. Too strong. Try some cherry wicked. Yeah. Or even a little bit of brother's cider. That's yeah, okay. Go on, try this one as well. Go on, go on, have some more. Go on, have some more. There you go. Try it, go on, try it, go on, try some. Refunds not available. Terms and conditions apply. Side effects may include liver failure, heart disease, and may even lead to death. Come here. I said no. I said come here. One drink led to two, three, then four. He said no, babe. The time has come. For you and me to have some fun. That's when things got out of hand. The night hadn't gone quite as she planned. He took her down an alleyway. The girl got, got raped. raped. Rape can happen to anyone. And at any time, if you have been affected by rape, or affected by what you had just seen, you can call the Manchester Rape Crisis Helpline on 0161 273 4500. And also call the police, because the sooner you call, the sooner they can preserve any evidence and bring someone to justice. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Smirnoff and this is my assistant Kohal. Al Kohal. What's up everybody? First, the alcohol enters the body through the mouth. It arose at your teeth and makes your breath very smelly. <coughs> Woo! Now, the eyes. The alcohol affects the eyes, causing your vision to go blurred and can even make you see double. <laughs> Not good, eh? No. Now, the liver. The alcohol affects the liver over a long period of time or short period of time, and some of this damage cannot be repaired. Now, the kidneys. The alcohol affects the kidneys, causing them to become dehydrated, which makes them make more urine than what they drink. Not good, eh? No. Now, the brain. The alcohol enters the brain, causing chaos, which makes you make stupid and illogical decisions, which you would not make sober. And then the brain crashes. Now, the alcohol exits the body through the mouth. And I think you all know what's going to happen. <laughs> not good, eh? Where's Jenny? She went for a wee behind that bush a minute ago. Oh, so you let her go on her own? I'm not gonna watch her pee, am I? Right, let's go find her. She can't have gone that far. <laughs> Jenny! Jenny! <laughs> Jenny! 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 Somebody help! Jenny! Kathy, I can't swim! Four out of ten people who drown are under the influence of alcohol. You don't need to become another statistic. If you need help with alcohol, you can always call Connections on 0161 253 7733. Louise, look at the size of that building. It's massive! massive. massive. Bay can't climb it. 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 Yeah. What, well, you've got to run? Go. Woo! Alcohol makes you feel invincible. When you're most vulnerable. Family picture! Yeah. Cheese! Mac and yeah. What? She's been drinking!
Get in, get, get in, in. come on. Turn the music on. Oh, Jody, slow down. Jody, no, slow Seven down. Eight. Stop it, Jody. Shouldn't have been drink driving, especially when other people's lives are at risk. I knew she was over the limit, but I still let her get behind the wheel. I should have worn my seatbelt, otherwise the person in front wouldn't have got hurt. I should have been driving. I weren't drinking. If I stayed at home, I'd still be alive. We, we lost, lost our, our daughter, daughter to drink, drink driving. driving. I lost my sister. I never drink. I never swear. I never showed you that I cared. And when I got into the car, knowing the drinking had gone too far, then we crashed and things went black. I knew I wasn't coming back. For some people, alcohol is a burden. And that burden gets bigger and bigger. Before, before it comes too much to bear. But there are always people that can help. You can call the Early Break Helpline on 0161 723 3880. And that burden can disappear. Remember, alcohol can make you feel invincible. When you're most vulnerable. Just have it. No, it makes me feel sick. What's wrong with you? Was it really worth it? If you get pushed in something you don't want to do, go to www.connections.co.uk. Pizza face. We're spots. Oh no, I've got a spot. <laughs> I've got another spot. <laughs> I've got loads of spots. <laughs> Around 80% of the population is burnt acne as a teenager. Bop! <laughs> acne forms lumps and bumps on your skin. Bop! <laughs> if left untreated, acne can be very serious. Bop! 7% <laughs> of adults are affected by acne as well. If you need help with acne, call 08457 90 90 90 Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for your gay or nay host, Miss Les Bow. Hi, I'm Les Bow, and welcome to Gay or Nay. Today on the show we have Gemma. Now, Gemma, the question we all want to know is, gay or nay? Well, I don't really know. Well, maybe today you'll find out. Now, let's spin the wheel of gay. Gemma, spit up! Now, Gemma, for 100 pounds, gay or nay? Gay! Gay or nay? I'm totally gay, babe. Woo! Oh, now for 200 pounds! Stop! Gay or nay, Gemma? Nay. Gay or nay? Gay or nay? I'm not quite sure. <gasps> not knowing your sexuality is common. Don't worry, you're not on your own. If you want someone to talk to in confidence, you can call the Gay and Lesbian Helpline on 
0161 253 0835. Thank you for watching. Get your knee. Oh, well, can't wait for tonight. Yeah, me too. I'm going to get some. Oh, same. Got plenty of condoms, me. Getting late. In it. <laughs> Shame you've never done it. I have done loads of times. I have. I have. I'm not ready for tonight at all. I haven't even had sex yet. I'm still a virgin. I've never even touched a girl. I'm a virgin, but I follow the crowd. <laughs> Get the ass on that! <laughs> You're such a slag syphilis! <laughs> no! Look at your boobs! I'm a titchy bit! Oh, mate, those girls are fit! Uh -huh. oh. Which one of them do you want? I want that one there. I like a bit of meat! I want that one over there. I fancy this one. She looks amazing. In bed! Do you want sex? Oh, no, I'm not a slag. Come on, let's do it! Do what? Are you a virgin? No, I'm not a virgin. I've had sex loads of times. I've not had sex loads of times. I just feel like I have to say I have because all my friends have had sex. Come on, let's do it! Are you going to kiss me Move. or what? Come on, I'll show you how to do yeah, it. No, I'm not a slag. Come on, guys, let's go. Yeah. Find plenty of other girls. No, no way. way. If you need help or advice with sex, you can always phone sex line on 0800 28 29 30 or visit the website sexwise.co.uk Ooh, or phone an agony aunt. I'm Krabs. I infect your pubic hair. You got me when you was getting freaky, freaky fresh with Sebastian. Chlamydia, darling. I'm the most common STI out there and I came with my friend Krabs. I'm HIV, and I attack the immune system and can even shut it down. whoop -a! Chlamydia, darling. Freaky, freaky, fresh. I'm fresh and I make you itch. whoop -a! Chlamydia, darling. Freaky, freaky, fresh. I'm gonorrhea, and I spread through contact with your penis, vagina, mouth and anus. whoop -a! Chlamydia, darling. Freaky, freaky, fresh. Gonorrhea. Don't be silly, rap you willa. I'm Beyonce. I'm Jordan. Harry Tilton. Stop! I wish I had a bum like Beyonce. I wish I had boobs like Jordan. I wish I had a figure like Paris Hilton. But I haven't, I'm just fat and ugly. You're a freak! Freak! I can be a freak. I can 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 I can be a freak. I wish I was you. I wish I was you. I wish I was you. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm sick of being skinny. If you need help with body issues and self-esteem, call Connections on 0161 253 7733. Yeah, boys! Stop. Guess what I got in my pocket? What? Oh, sick. You having some, Liam? Yeah, that'd be mint. But, do you know what would be better? Give some to those little geeks, you know, get them to try it for once. Oh, yeah, it's well funny. They do whatever we say. Oh, that'd be sick. They're like puppets. <laughs> into doing something you don't want to do. Get up! No! Get up! No! Get up! No! Don't give in to peer pressure. Remember, it's your life, it's your choice. Yeah. Yes. I'm bored. Me too. So am I. 
And what you can do? What? Bring a fire engine. No. Go on, it'll be well. I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll pretend the house is just do it. Okay. Hello? Can you help me, please? <coughs> My house is on fire. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> said it was going to be five minutes. <laughs> yeah, guess what I got? What? She's been talking about you. She's been making you look like a Muppet man. Yeah. Here, yeah, got an idea. What? Put this firework in the letterbox. No. Yeah. Are you ready? No, it's stupid. What? Go on. It. Go on. The house on fire. So Do something. Form the fire brigade. Hello? Hello? I need a red fire engine. Right, right, okay. They said they're going to be 10 minutes. That's your fault, Zoe. That's your fault. What have I done? All this happened because of peer pressure. Berry only has four fire engines going from Ramsbottom to Presswich. Peer pressure doesn't just affect you, it affects everyone around you as well. If you or anyone you know has had trouble with peer pressure, you can go to teenissues.co.uk forward slash defeating peer pressure. I got pressure into sex. I got pressure into having sex with my boyfriend. At least that's what he said he was. Then he said that if I didn't do it, he was going to tell people bad things about me, and I didn't want that, so I just did it. And I really regret it now. No one else cares if I cut myself, so why should I? 7% of teenagers self-harm. Teenagers self-harm because they think it's the only way out. I do it out of frustration. It makes me feel in control of my life. Girls over the age of 12 are more than twice as likely to self-harm as boys, and this figure is rising. I self-harm because I hate myself. 4% of teenagers who self-harm unfortunately die but it doesn't have to be this way if you need help call the self-harm helpline on 0161 761 0055 It's Blind Date, and here is your host, Miss Scylla Black! Well, hello everyone, I'm Scylla Black, and welcome to Blind Drugs. I've got a wonderful contestant with me today, and three lovely drugs. Woo! I said three lovely drugs. Woo! That's better. Drug number one, introduce yourself. Hi. I'm a pill, aka Exocet. I'm small, I'm round, and I'll make you feel fantastic. Woo! Drug number two. Hi, I'm cocaine. Just one sniff of me, and I'll make you alert, have bursts of energy, and uh, keep you wanting more. Woo! And last but not least, drug number three. Hi, I'm cannabis. I'm green, I'm great, and I'll make you feel like you're flying. Whoa. Now then. Now that we've met the drugs, please give a round of applause for my wonderful contestant, Holly Young. <laughs> How are you doing, love? I'm alright. Oh, that's wonderful. Right. I've got you some drugs over here, so ask them some questions and get to know them. Alright. Okay. 
Jug number one, hiya. I've heard all these really good stories about you, but do you have any, like, you know, negative side effects? Oh, no, Holly, not at all. I'll make you feel great all the time. Well, according to my calculations, ecstasy can give you a stroke, a heart attack, or could possibly kill you. Right. Uh, drug number two, same question, please. Uh, no, I don't think so. And according to my results, cocaine can give you permanent organ damage. Right. Uh, drug number three, same question, please. No, not at all. Well, actually, I'll make you, like, super paranoid, then I'll even kill your brain cells. Well, that's all nice and dandy. Have you decided which one you'd like to take? Yes, I have, Silla. Well, tell us. Can I get a drum roll, please? I'd like all three. Woo! I mean, come on. It's my life, so doesn't that make it my choice? I don't know if it's the right one, but we're just going to have to wait and see. The following demonstration shows the effects of drugs on the heart and how it may lead to death. Don't let drugs control you. We got through it, so can you. Over 78% of teenagers get over drug addiction every year. Drugs don't just change your night, they affect your life. Don't let drugs control you. Drugs can permanently affect your body. Drugs don't just affect you, but those around you. Drugs aren't cool and they're not rebellious. Drugs aren't always the answer to your problems. Words are, of course, the most powerful drug used by mankind. You have a 90% higher chance of beating any addiction if you speak up about it. Drugs can put you in dangerous situations. Don't let something as small as a drug make you do something that you don't want to. The quicker you spot your addiction, the longer life you'll have to live. There is more help than you think. Call Frank on... Oh. Eight. Hundred. Double. Seven. Double. Six. Double. Oh. She's a goth. Oh, she stinks, man. Oh, look at them clothes. Do you believe in the devil? Oh, she is angry. That lipstick. Ugh. I'm Sophie. Me and my boyfriend were walking through Bacup Park. When these lads approached us, they attacked us. They punched me. Punch! Punch! And they kicked me. Kick! And they pulled my hair. Punch! Over the last three years, child on child murders have tripled. Did I deserve to die just because I'm different? Ah, Mr. and Mrs. G. Inga. <laughs> Funny, that sounds almost as if you were. <sighs> right, um, apparently you have lodged a complaint. Will you please tell me, in your own words, what happened? You want to know what happened? Yes. Because I'll tell you what happened. Yes. If you want to know what happened. Yes. I'll tell you what happened. Yes. Tell him what happened. I'll tell you what happened. We've been victimised for the last six weeks. Why? Because, because we're, we're ginger. ginger. We don't get milk delivered to our door anymore. We get orange juice <laughs> and carrot juice. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, there isn't really much that we can do at the moment. But if you'd like to leave here, that Come exit. On. That no, that's for no gingers. I mean, it's been cleaned. Come on, George. How would you like it if you got called for having brown hair? Or blue eyes. It's pathetic. Discrimination is wrong, whether it's for race, age, or even hair colour. So why do it? When you're born, you're pink. When you grow, you're white. When you go in the sun, you're red. When, when you're, you're scared, scared, you're, you're yellow. yellow. When you're cold, you're blue. When you're sick, <coughs> you're green. 
and when you die, you're grey. And you're calling me coloured. If we were colour blind, would it end all of this hate? Just remember, we, we all bleed red. I love you. I love you too. It's weird. It's not right. It's disrespectful. It's horrible. It's minging. Unacceptable. It's wrong. You are anging. It's awful. It must be wrong if people tell me it is. But why is it wrong? Be true to yourself. Love is love, no, no matter, matter who, who it is. 82% of lesbian, gay or bisexual people have suffered from name calling just because of the sexuality. If you feel discriminated against, you can call the Gay and Lesbian Hotline on 0161 253 0835. Thanks, it's okay. Hoods don't represent the people that's underneath them. Don't judge a book by its cover. to all of you. You used to be my friends. You used to be each other's friends. Now you won't even speak to each other. Why let stereotyping choose your friends? It's my birthday today and I'm eight years old and I brought sweets for all of my friends. Yay! There's one for you. Thank you. And there's one for you. Thanks. And there's one for Thanks. you. And you don't get one because I don't like you. Well, let's all eat our sweets. It's my 18th tonight. Invite for you. Cheers, pal. Invite for you. Oh, cheers. Invite for you. Thanks. You don't get one. What? Why? Do you not remember when we're eight and you won't give me a sweet because I wasn't your friend? Treat others how you'd want to be treated. Jordan, Jordan, guess what I did on Saturday night? What did you do on Saturday Went night? Went to this massive house party. Massive house massive party. Massive house party. What did you do Saturday night? Bet you did nothing as per usual. Yeah. Ah. Anyway, there was oh. some banging tunes on the night. Banging tunes. Banging tunes. Did they bang? They well banged. Did they bang? Listen to this one, listen to this one. Go on. In Greater Manchester, <laughs> born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, picking on his four gonna bash his head in outside of school. When he brought some guys, he thought he was so cool. Starting on me, what a complete fool! We got in one little fight and my mate got scared. He said, I don't wanna fight, I'm a geek, yeah? And the devil pulled up in a big white van and shouted to my mate, Go on, scram! Looked to the pavement, shaking with fear. Now I'm in a cell thinking, Why am I here? In 1999, just under 6,000 youths were in UK prisons. Since then, that number's doubled. Don't go to prison. It isn't worth it. It ruins your chances and ruins your life. I hate my tummy. My thighs. My voice. My hair. My nose. My ears. My arms. 
Gold hair with a gentle curl That's the girl he chose And heaven knows I'm not that girl Have you ever looked in the mirror and thought, I'm so fat, I'm too thin. Look at these scars and look at these spots. You know you're not on your own. Even celebrities think like that. That's why they go to such extremes when they're changing their bodies. But you're beautiful in your own way. So next time you look in that mirror, tell yourself you're beautiful because you are. He could be that boy, but I am that girl. I love my boobs, my lips, my legs, my eyes, my smile, my bum. Girls as young as the age of six are planning to change their bodies in the future. Be a first-rate version of yourself, not a second-rate version of somebody else. You have a wall full of stuff, Jade. I don't know why you even bother coming into school, you. You have an inbox off Natalie. Stay away from me. I hate you. Joel come to a photo of you. Why would you post such an ugly picture on Facebook? You have a wall post off Ashley. Stay away from my boyfriend, right? You have a text message off Lauren. They're just bullies. Don't listen to them. You've got plenty of friends that love you. You have a voicemail off Nicola. Why wasn't you in school today, Lauren? I'm really worried about you. You have a voicemail off Chloe. I hope you've not done anything stupid. I've not seen or heard from you in days. Rest in peace. Account deactivated. 52% of our bullying cases is somehow linked with Facebook. killed due to domestic violence. To stop this, you can call the police or call Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 111. Domestic violence, break the silence. On average, every 10 days, a child dies at the hand of their parents. Your mistake, you're gonna get it. Got no friends, you're not worth it. You're ugly. Your mistake, you're gonna get it. Got no friends, you're not worth it. You're ugly. Your mistake. You're gonna get it. Got no friend. You're not worth it. You're ugly. Your mistake. You're gonna get it. Got no friend. You're not worth it. You're ugly. Drop dead. Bullies leave scars that last a lifetime. But don't worry, because you're not alone. You've got your family, your friends, and your teachers. Have a voice. Speak out. Stop it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! 
the outside I look hard, on the inside I'm weak. I won't let them break me, will you? I only laugh at people, so they don't laugh at me. I'm tired of being a victim, I don't want to do it anymore. A problem shared is a problem halved. The bullies have the problem, not us. Courage is fire, bullying is a smoke. Have a voice, speak out. Around 15 to 25 children every year commit suicide due to bullying. You can stop this now by calling Childline on 0800 1111. the Be Safe Be Cool play by Berry College. My favourite bit was the alcohol uh, part. My name's Mia and I think the dancing in the performance got the message across better as if teachers did it in PSHC they wouldn't be able to explain it to teenagers as much as other teenagers could. It was helpful because it gave you loads of information about what drugs and alcohol can do to affect your body and how like how you can die from it in different causes. Hi, I'm Lucy, and um, I thought the performance was really good because um, it got the message across a lot better than if you were just sort of like sat in PHSCA with a teacher telling you about it, and you just sort of tune out. And um, yeah, I thought it was really good. And um, my favourite bit was the way they introduced the um, peer pressure, the peer pressure about throwing fireworks, thinking it's cool. After each scenario, it showed there was always a way out of the um, problem and there's always someone you can turn to or ring. <laughs> My name's Lauren and I thought the performance was really good because it shows like a better aspect on it rather than just teachers going on at us about it. They had good song choices because it just made me listen more and the dancing was really good, it was all just dead good. Hi, I'm Alex, and I thought the performance was good because it explained more or less how teenagers think about stuff from a teenage point of view to teenagers instead of us being told by adults. They got the story across to us much better than teachers probably could. And I think the part about drugs and alcohol was strong and it taught us a lot about how we work and stuff. Hello, my name is Dylan, and I think that the performance that we just watched it was very good because it puts across a message that kids shouldn't do drugs and 
that lots of people get abused when you didn't really think that they did. In PSHCE, um, when they're talking to you about sex, they like tell you that it's like the worst thing in the world and that you're like gonna die from it and they put it out in a really extreme sort of way. But in the performance, they didn't put it out as extreme, but they still they let you decide what you wanted to do. Um, one of the things I thought was really good about it is how they used um, acting and dancing together to get their points across to the viewers. And um, I thought it was good um, was that they like talked about how girls like can don't have to look a certain way, and they can like look however they want to and not get bullied about their appearance and stuff. It's a better way to put the message over because it's not people telling you like don't do this and don't do that. They're acting it out, making it humorous, and giving you facts about it. I'm I'm Holly, and my favourite part of the performance was the part where the guy was trying to pressure the girl into doing something that she didn't want to, because we all have a right to make our own decisions and to do something that we want to and that what other people want us to do. Hi, I'm James and I think the performance was very entertaining because it showed the, the points and a different view and the people who did it were more of our age instead of teachers telling us about it because it gets boring. Real Don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs>